astros on the Hello ladies and gentlemen subscribe Astro Sunder and press the bell icon. Today we are going to see. The part of fortune indicates the area in the horoscope where the owner of the horoscope feels that good fortune is smiling on him. To some, good fortune means that money abounds, to others it means public recognition and acclaim, and to others, it means love, good health, and good luck. The clue according to tradition, to the personal interpretation of good fortune lies in the sign and house placement of the part of fortune. The part of fortune will be the exact amount of degrees and minutes distant from the ascendant as the moon is distant from the Sunday. So, for example, if the moon is 73 degrees after the sun, within the second eighth of the lunation cycle, the part of fortune will be 73 degrees after the ascendant. The same example, in zodiacal terms could have the ascendant at 10 degrees Taurus, the sun at 00, zero Gemini, and the moon at 13 degrees Leo. This is a distance of the 73 degrees mentioned above. Because the ascendant is 10 degrees Taurus, the part of fortune is 73 degrees later, or 23 degrees of Cancer. The sign of the part of fortune is dependent on the sign and degree of the ascendant, leading to a wide variety of possible signs for the part of fortune on any given day. The house position of the part of fortune, however, depends upon the distance that the moon is from the Sunday. For example, in a natal chart cast for right after the new moon, the part of fortune will be in the first house, because the moon has not yet moved far from the sun, and the part of fortune is close to the ascendant. As another example of house position, consider the hours after a full moon, when the part of fortune is in the seventh house because the moon is located a little bit more than 180 degrees from the Sunday. The secret of part of fortune in fifth house. If you have part of fortune in the fifth house in your birth chart, you enjoy creating. You express this through a particular talent or simply as a way of life. You personally identify with everything you create. Not only is everything you make a product of yourself, but you also become the product with everything you do. You have the great ability to realize your dreams, which is much of your own doing through your willpower. You get to know yourself through everything you do. Since your part of fortune is in the fifth house of your birth chart, the eleventh house is the opposite house. Through the eleventh house, you see the ideal reality from which you must create. You also see the illusions and fantasies of other people. However, if these ideals are too scattered and do not inspire you, then your ability to create diminishes. Since your friendships can give life to your hopes, dreams and wishes, and push you into the realm of creative imagination, it is important that you know how to choose your friends as they are the source of the creation or destruction of your inspiration and imagination. And you need inspiration and imagination to feel like an individual being. At the same time you must take them in a detached way and see your dreams as a collection of symbols of the universal unconscious, without dispersing your creative process, or identifying with these dreams unless they fit within a creative project. You must realize that all creation is 1% inspiration and 99% effort, and also that there is a great difference between knowing what one can do and really putting it into practice. You will only know yourself through what you do, not what you think. Regarding your friends, you have a strong idealism, but you must remain impartial understanding the concept of not being involved. The more you talk about everything you can do, the less energy you have at your disposal. Your greatest happiness comes from being deeply and intensely involved in everything you are capable of creating. Sometimes this satisfaction comes from a single brilliant creation, whether in the arts, the theater, or through a very special child. Sometimes you absorb dreams from other people, those dreams that they don't know how to use. You must examine these, and apply them to what you have learned through your creation. 
you should not try to instill the will to create on those who only talk about it, because then you lose your own will. You like to enjoy all the good things in the world, although you have to learn the difference between inner and outer richness, to give more importance to your inner fulfillment than to the outer one. In short, part of fortune in the fifth house. The person with his part of fortune in the fifth house has creative and emotional energies overflowing. He needs to express these, and finds great satisfaction in creative or artistic activity. He is attracted to adventurous enterprises. He has luck with speculations and with children. This person has strong abilities in creative fields of art, drama, theater, music, literature, and invention. He needs to pour himself into what he is doing, and he needs appreciation and applause.